Hey, this is Mike. I'm here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting East Coast Honda and checking out this 2016 Honda Pilot EX. Now this is the one, one of the main differences with the EX is that it has a six-speed transmission versus a nine-speed transmission. And this one has the cloth interior, stuff like that. But this one comes in a different price point. So let's go ahead and check it out. They did a really good job. Honda did a really good job with the styling, I think, of the 16 Pilot. And it really has gotten a lot of attention. So let's go ahead and check out the wheels first. 18 inch aluminum wheels with the contrasting alloy popping out from the gray background. Has four wheel disc brakes. Give you a profile view here. Oh yeah. So one of the features of this vehicle is the remote start. The vehicle does have to be secure, so you want to push the lock button and then push and hold the remote start button. It takes a second and it starts up. So you can see the remote start button is that little, the one that says hold and it has the half circle there with the arrow. But anyways, so now it's started. The 3.5 liter V6 has started up and the 3.5 liter has 280 horsepower and uh, basically it can sip gas pretty good because it doesn't always use all six cylinders. It can cycle between six, four, three, stuff like that. So, you know, it really helps out with, you get a lot of horsepower when you need it, but you don't always need that horsepower. So it has the ability to, you know, cut back and sip some gas. So looking here in the front, we have the accent lighting around here and uh, right here will be illuminated and then you have the projector headlights powered by halogen bulbs and then you have the reflector there on the, on the left for the high beams fog lights down here and then you have your turn signal there parking lights chrome grille and hopefully I'll be able to do one of these at night so you can actually see the lights at night time so that's that's the best time to see what they look like during the day it's hard to see them but anyways uh, let's go ahead and take a look in here now before I go inside another thing about the key is this one has the proximity key so like I said before it does have the lock and unlock buttons it is running now but the vehicle is locked so all I got to do I don't even have to use the key to lock or unlock the, the vehicle I can just put the key in my pocket walk up put my hand here on the handle it senses my hand it senses the key within a close proximity and it unlocks the door now if I want to relock it all I have to do is push this button and it'll relock the door so as long as I have the key with me I don't actually have to you know take the key out of my pocket I can just you know leave it oh, as long as it's with me it doesn't matter where it's at uh, I can walk up and use the vehicle like that and it does have the push button start which I'll show you in a second so here's the inside of the passenger door absolutely love the placement of these little storage areas here these little places to put bottles cell phone all that stuff it's like a really good shelf system you can put your cell phone in there you can put your water bottle there I always try anytime I get in a vehicle I have to have some water with me so really handy, you can put papers down in here and just the placement of it is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, so anyways, and also you can see it's like a, like a two-tone black, then you have that tan down here with some metallic accents across the top. Alrighty. And the tan seats really kind of stand out against the black carpeting and the black dash. So I like that, that combination of tan and black. So here's the cloth seats and they're very comfortable and soft. They have some, some pretty decent bolstering without being too intrusive around your body. It does have a locking glove compartment. Pretty decent amount of space, nothing special there in the glove compartment. Plenty of leg room though. 
You can see the leg room is, is, is good. Let's see what it looks like all the way back. Okay, so that's all the way back. So that's that's great. Also, you have a pretty good amount of height off, off the floor, the seats, uh, to keep your you know knees from sticking up in the air if you're really tall. Okay, so let's continue on to the back door. This is the second row of seating, and you can tell, like I showed you, that seat's all the way back, and you still have a decent amount of leg room. It's not, um, it's not bad at all. And then you have some really good placements here in the door for your stuff, especially the cup holders. I mean, I like the way you got your hand here, and I mean, the, the, the cuff is right there. So let me go ahead and hop in the back seat, give you a point of view back here. So, yeah, I'm sitting here, the cup's right there, and I'm about six feet tall. My knees are barely touching, just barely grazing the front seat here. So, you know, that, and of course that seat's all the way back, so not everybody, and the, and the back part is tilted back a little bit too. So, but it's still not bad. I mean, I can ride back here, it's no problem. You have the climate control adjustments back here. In a pocket down there for your cell phone or something unless you have the center armrest with cup holders in it and if you need a center pack passenger you could just fold it up got some lights back here but yeah this isn't bad but you know the second row even with the seat all the way back got a place to put some stuff there all right so let's go ahead and, and get out so we can show you show you the third row seating and the third row seating you have this little step here which is pretty cool but to get back there it's real easy just pull that forward I mean you just pull that lever and it just automatically kind of goes forward like that and then so you, that way you can step up in using that step there and there's your third row now me trying to get in and out of the third row is a little bit not really great. I mean, I'm you know pretty good sized fella, so um, I'm not going to get back there. But I'm going to show you the the leg room is uh, similar as far as the distance from the seat, but as far as it being off the floor, the seat's not very far off the floor. So with me sitting back there, my knees would be sticking up pretty high. But it's it's doable. Uh, maybe not for long trips, but it's doable. All right, you got places to put cup hold, cups back here. And all that good stuff. You got lights. So, you know, I guess uh, the smallest people or you know kids or something like that would have to go in the third row seat. Seat, um, but it's still you know it's usable, and I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue, especially on short trips. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind sitting back there for on a short trip, but trying to film and getting in and out of there is a little bit different. All right, so let's take a look over here. There's the back of the vehicle. got your backup lights back here all right and the backup camera lens is here and just to the right of that is a little button for opening up the uh, the trunk it's right under there plus you can lock it with that button to the right of it you kind of have to you can feel it better than you can see it but anyways here the here's the back and all right, so you can see it has a some level of, of reclining, uh, just a few inches there to recline the third row seats. But um, so you can adjust that with a strap up there, there in the corner there. While you're sitting in the seat, you can kind of pull it and adjust it. But you can also lower these seats if you want to by pulling the strap. So you just pull straight down on the strap. It lowers the headrest and it releases it completely to where it can go down. And so that way you can pretty much double, almost over double your cargo capacity back here. Another thing is, there's some storage space under here in case you want to have some stuff out of sight. But if you really need to utilize that space without covering it up, you can take this whole cover and you can remove it, put it down here, and drop it in place, and it snaps in place. And that way you can utilize that space and the cover is stored as well so you can put stuff in there also you know on the seats here if you want to utilize this 
that whole cargo cargo area you can also fold down the second row so it gives you plenty of space uh, for cargo area as long as you don't need all the passenger space as well and even if when you do you still have the you know the cargo capacity there all right so let's go ahead and close it up and it stopped running because the uh, remote start only lasts uh, so long and then it will turn off so let's go ahead and look in the fuel door there's the fuel door button because I want to show you that it is a capless design so look, once you open up the, the door you just basically put your nozzle in there pump your gas take it out you don't have to worry about anything it's um it's a special you know it's a special system to where stuff's not gonna like rain's not gonna go in there and mess up your you know tank or anything like that it'll keep it from happening but anyway real simple you don't have to worry about losing your cat all right so let's take a look under the hood check out the 3.5 liter v6 so just uh, above the honda symbol here to the left there's a little switch here um, that release is right there you just push it to the right and it unlatches and you can see it's covered up a lot with plastic which is not my favorite thing in the world but we'll let it slide and it's a 3.5 liter v6 and it's an iv tech with earth the dreams technology and i'll leave a link in the description to uh, so you can go into more research on that and it's kind of basically um, the design the designs of the engine will help you get the best earth friendly uh, efficiency I guess you can say but uh, it's a little bit more involved than that so I'll leave a, a link in the description about the Earth 3 and if you're familiar with the VTEC system uh, it is able to you know adjust the timing and the the valves and all that stuff to allow you to have the best fuel economy and some serious power and it will cut back to um, as little as three cylinders if needed to if needed to save you some gas when you don't really need all the all the power so now it started uh, with the key without not the remote start and you can see the accent lighting is is now illuminated hopefully you can see that during the day on camera is visible to my eyes yeah I think you can see it now if you want to start the vehicle without the remote start you just get in the vehicle put your foot on the brake and push the start button Okay, so here we are on the inside. And the EEX comes with the six speed transmission. So you can see the shifter is a little bit different than the nine speed, which is more of an electric shifter with the buttons. Let's go ahead and start here on the door. You have the power windows and the front two are automatic. So I can just push that like that and the window goes all the way down without me holding it that's kind of what the whole automatic thing is going is for power door locks are here you can also lock out the other power windows if you need to um, just completely stop them from being rolled up and down uh, that's handy with young kids so they don't play around with the windows and then you can see you have the same it's pretty much a mirror of the other side of the passenger door with all the pockets and everything very handy to get to um, very convenient Okay, so over here we have the trash control button here at the bottom and that's always on unless you want to turn it off and the only time you want to turn it off is if you're stuck or for some reason you need to spin tires. You're stuck in the snow or mud or something like that and you need to spin tires to break yourself free. This is how you adjust your side mirrors and you just go to the left or right and then you can adjust it with this little pad and then you put it back in the center position so you don't accidentally mess up your mirrors, you just adjust it. And this now the economy mode when you push that green button I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fan up just so you can hear it so I'm gonna push that button I don't know if you can hear there's a slight change in the speed of the fan the economy button not only does it tell the vehicle that you want the best gas mileage and in, in and engine power and transmission shifting but also it does things like 
you know adjust the air the climate control slightly just slightly to kind of help you know boost your economy in the vehicle so across the board it just basically um, basically when you push a button like I said it's you're just telling the vehicle that you want the highest fuel economy possible that you can get and still of course be usable I mean it's not gonna be just like a total dog and you know anything like that but it's just kind of like just cut it cut it to where you can you know use the vehicle you're not really gonna notice a huge difference while at the same time over a tank of gas it's gonna save a lot of um, save gas also you know have less pollution or whatever okay so let's take a look here at the steering wheel and it is a like a synthetic kind of a leather texture material and it's very comfortable and grippy it has a really good uh, surface to it I guess that texturing really helps out with the grip and since it's a synthetic material it'll last forever and it's easy to clean you don't have to worry about it too much but um, has a bunch of buttons here and let's go ahead and start here on the right this is your cruise control you just have to make sure it's turned on so once you push that on the cruise control button will turn on, the light will turn on there so you know it's on and then you can set it here change your speed and cancel it there basically the same controls that you've had for for a long time but uh, it's just in a simple format there and uh, before we go into that, let's go over here. This is your volume button for your radio. Change through your presets on your radio. Plus you can push this and it'll cycle through the different things, which is on this one is your phone and your radio. And once you're in a particular um, screen, you can push this to go into menus that'll you know choose different options. So down here is your Bluetooth phone controls so once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system you can answer calls and hang up and make calls so basically once you're driving you can have the radio on the air conditioner blowing and all that stuff if somebody calls you all that stuff's going to quiet down you are going to hear the phone ringing and you just push this button and you say hello and you talk to the person and they can hear you just fine and clear just as clear and a lot of people won't even know that you're using your vehicle to speak to them but you're doing this while your hands are on the wheel and your eyes are on the road. So this is a really good safety feature. And then when you're finished talking, whether they are or not, <laughs> you can push this button to hang up. And then if you want to make a call, you can push this button and say, call John or whatever it happens to be, whoever happens to be in your phone book. So if you're, you know, you have, say, John Vincent, the guy here at uh, East Coast Honda, you have his phone number in your phone book you just push that and say call John Vincent as long as you say it like it's spelled in the, the in your phone then it'll call him up so that's a really good feature also you can push that button for changing the radio stations and stuff like that so the Bluetooth phone and also the voice recognition are seriously good safety features they're convenience features but to me they are massive safety features because like I said hands on the wheel eyes on the road the whole time Okay, so let's go back to these buttons here. And these buttons correspond with this screen between the gauges. So at the very top, top center, you can see the miles per hour, big digital, easy to read speedometer. To the left, you have your RPMs. On the right, you've got your temperature and then your uh, fuel gauge. And you can see right there, the little fuel pump has an arrow to the left of the fuel pump showing you which side your fuel cat your fuel uh, door is on so in case you know you just happen to be uh, in the vehicle and you forget which side it is or whatever you just bought the vehicle and you don't remember um, it kind of clues you in there which is really cool but back to that center screen right here this screen right now it's blank uh, other than you know the miles of odometer there it's in park and 95 degrees outside which is actually cooled down a little bit since uh, earlier so using these buttons here I'm going to kind of cycle through to show you what it does. All right, so let me go up. Uh, this shows your oil life, how, how long before you have to change the oil. Going up again, this is your tire pressure, the exact tire pressure in each tire. Isn't that cool? And of course, if, if there is a particular tire that's out of range, it will pop up and alert you. You don't have to actually have to look at that all the time. Um, you know, it'll, it'll alert you if there's something out of, out of 
range. Scrolling up again, this is your, your compass. So right now the vehicle is facing southwest. Scrolling up again, uh, this is your trip B. It gives your distance, your average fuel economy, and your range. And then you have a real-time fuel economy there at the very bottom as you're driving. And then you have the trip A, so it's your you know, drive computers here, A and B. And then you're going to re change from miles per hour to kilometers there if you want to. And then it scrolls back to the other side. So you can go, you know, keep scrolling up and down to the point where you need to go. So you can go up or down. You don't have to constantly go up. So that's basically, you know, the basics there on that screen and using it with these controls here. Your headlight controls are here. You can, there's your parking lights, there's off, then there's auto, and then there's on. Auto is a really good feature because you just put it on automatic and you just drive your vehicle and it, it turns on and off when needed. And then your fog light controls are here. Okay, so let's look on this side. This is your for your windshield wipers on the front and the back, and also your washers front and back. Alrighty. Um, here's a your interior lighting for your dash. You can increase the brightness or lower the brightness there. Decrease. Okay, so here's your center stack. And so the 16 has a really neat the, the colors on the touchscreen are really just vibrant and they get your attention. I love blue on a touchscreen. It's easy on the eyes and this one in particular just kind of pops out and it's really it just looks classy with the white lettering and the blue background. So anyway, right now we're in the audio screen and uh, when I push source, I'll show you how many different ways you can play audio through the sound system. AM, FM, satellite radio, USB, USB on iPod, uh, Pandora, which goes through your cell phone, which is like an internet radio, your Bluetooth, which is through your cell phone or any other Bluetooth audio device, auxiliary input, which I'll show you where these, uh, these are in a second, and also um, audio apps through the Honda um, the Honda uh, app. I'll show you that in a second right here. Uh, the Honda link there. But okay, so pushing home takes you back. Right now we're we're in audio audio, but push you home pushing home brings up all these icons. It's sort of like your computer or your cell phone. Um, you have this ability to go into different different screens, which you can add to this. This is all that's on there now. You got phone information, audio, Honda link, aha, and settings. So that's where we're in the audio. And the phone, once you pair your phone, you'll have more information. Right now it's asking if you want to pair the phone. But you'll be able to have your, your phone book and call history and all that stuff. Speed dial, which is really handy when you're driving. All right, let's go back home. Information. Uh, then you can go into your trip computer. Also, you can change the, the wallpaper. You can have this wallpaper right here. Um, of like your family or whatever with a big clock in the middle as you're driving. That's really cool uh, Honda link um, This is an app that you actually have to uh, Download and put on your phone and then you you put in your VIN number and all that stuff and you can You know it makes a connection with your computer uh, with your cell phone, which your smartphone is basically a pocket computer So um, I'm not going to do that now So it's, it has the ability to connect up some different apps and stuff. AHA is one of, is an app that you can that runs through your computer, uh, your your cell phone, and you can play music just like it's just like uh, it's like another internet radio type thing. And then settings. Uh, this is where you can change your your clock, your your time, your, you can pair phones, stuff like that, and change your audio. So anyways, there's the main features there of the, the touch screen and you know, you have the ability to change the brightness here, you know, the, for day and night because uh, at night time you don't want it so bright. But, um, but that's the main features there, the touch screen, the radio, and the Bluetooth is the main features here. Alright, so there's your start button like I showed you before. I like the way it's, it's kind of nice, cool looking red, gets, gets your attention. Okay, so down here, this is your four-way flashers. Down here is your climate control, and your your temperature is here, and this is like a tri-zone, so dual zone here in the front, and then you have the rear. So right now it's synced, 
and to unsync it all you have to do is either adjust it in the back or here so right now I'm just changed this side all of a sudden now it's unsynced you can always sync it by pushing that button so your fan speeds here and you can control the rear setting if you want um, and then you're you know recirculate the air front and rear defrosters pretty e real easy to use system for the climate here's a pocket really good it's kind of a split so you can put cell phones in there for driver and passenger it looks like as long as they don't have cell phone bigger than mine so there's the like a storage area there for putting stuff power outlet and then here is uh, two USBs one's a 1.5 amp one is a 2.5 amp there cup holders pretty good size cup holders too and they're connected there in the center in case you want to put your cell phone in there so here's your 6B transmission shifter and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse and it pops up the backup camera and the backup camera has these lines these yellow lines uh, showing you how wide the vehicle is and also that dotted line is like the absolute closest you want to go to something it looks like there's a lot of room but it's actually just a few inches because of the distortion of the lens the lens it's a distorted lens to give you a broader view so it's bringing in more um, more light from around the, behind the vehicle uh, diff more angles I guess you can say but that distortion it creates a distortion which makes the the extremes of the lens more distorted than the center so right here is a few inches down here is a few feet so it's a big difference so also when you turn the steering wheel like I'm doing now you'll notice that the lines actually move and that gives you the estimated trajectory of the vehicle as you're backing up so kind of helps out it helps with you know backing up of course but also helps with the distortion of the lens and the cool feature on the end of this is this cool little button and I'm gonna push it to show you and it gives you a good view of your blind spot over here so if you're trying to get over or if you're trying to change lanes or whatever and you just kind of need to see over there on that side with your hand on the wheel you can push that button and all of a sudden you're looking in your blind spot which is awesome obviously um, also I want to mention that this side mirror I don't know if you notice that little line there this little side this side mirror I don't know if you can see that right there on the end is a little bit distorted and that is to give you a better view of your blind spot as well isn't that neat okay so let's continue down you've got uh, neutral and then drive this is your normal drive position you just drive around uh, just like any other automatic transmission but if you need to some engine braking like downshifting you can push it down here into low and the low range will basically give you a, uh, a higher RPM it'll, it'll use some engine braking so if you're going downhill this will kind of help slow you down and if you need to go down to your fourth gear you can push that button so that way it will you know go down even lower okay so in here this is this is a pretty neat classy looking uh, center console here it's kind of a sliding thing going on here I don't know how to I don't know the exact term for this so like a roll top desk but this you can close it and you can utilize the space here or you can open it up and you can put stuff in here this is where you find a 12 volt power supply plus another two and a half amp USB All right, and also you have this little tray that slides around. It slides pretty easy too, and you so you can put stuff in there, slide it back, and then you can, you know, utilize this space in here as a storage space. You can also close it up and you and you know kind of put stuff there if you need to. All right, so let's look at the rearview mirror. It does have the day and night mode? This manual. We've got tap lights up here. So your interior lights, you can turn them all on right here or you could put it in the center position for your door when you open up the door the interior lights will turn on or you can disable that by putting it to off so even if the doors open the lights will not turn on 
Here's your garage door controls, and um, you just pair it with your, your garage doors, a home link system. So here's a place to put your shades, and it has like a foam, um, soft foam interior to protect your sunglasses. But check this out, lift it up and drop it right there, and you have a conversation mirror. So you can keep an eye on all the backseat drivers back there and see what's going on. The visors have mirrors and lights in them. Same thing on that side. All right, so let's take a look in the back, see, see what the visibility looks like. All right, so what do you think? 2016 Honda Pilot EX with the six-speed transmission, cloth interior. I think this is, I mean, this is a really comfortable seat, especially with the, um, the power adjustable lumbar support. I was like adjusting it earlier and got like really super comfortable. Now I don't want to get out. So, so anyways, um, but I'll let you go. I might sit here for a little bit longer. But anyways, um, yeah, if you could leave any comments, uh, if you've taken one for a test drive, if you bought one recently, let us know. That would be really exciting to hear from an actual owner of one of these since they just hit the market. A lot of people purchase them. So if you have any experience with a vehicle like this, please, please leave us know in the, let us know in the comments. Also, if you're in the market for one, John Vincent here at East Coast Honda can hook you up and deliver one to your house anywhere in the United States. So I think that's a really good service and all it takes is an email to get it started. So I'll leave his contact information in the description and I'll see you next time. Thanks.